The Bandsaw Life is proudly sponsored by Powermatic, Carter Products, and Titebond, the pro's advantage. Hey everyone, Alex here. Now, when I do intricate cutting or scroll cutting on the bandsaw, I find that the insert, the blade groove, the miter uh, slot all tend to kind of catch when you're trying to do real intricate cuts. The other thing is, is that steel surface can be a little rough sometimes if you don't wax it and get everything just right. So I like to do a simple board that I throw up there uh, out of good old dry erase board. Dry erase board is very inexpensive. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, a two foot by three foot sheet. It's generally about six bucks, so it's not very expensive. Um, and I find that if I just set this up, I know that I'm going to uh, cut into this, and you always want to cut into it where it's going to lay across the flat area of the table. We don't want it to line up with the slot of the blade. We don't want it to line up with the groove. We want it to lay right across that flat part of the table. I've already cut my sheet the width of the table. We want to cut this groove in here so that it lays across the flat area of the table. Add some safety glasses. We'll just bring it up to where it's flush, and I just used my finger along the edge here to kind of give it a little guide. Now that I've got it where it's supposed to be, we'll take our pencil, mark that bottom side, we'll flip it over. Now we've got a board that is the same size as our table. It's a dry erase board, so it's very smooth. It also really shows uh, a nice contrast to your wood and material. Now the last thing that we would have to do would be to somehow mount this. Now I know a lot of people use dry or uh, double stick tape. Not a big fan of that because double stick tape has moisture in it. It will stick it pretty good to the table. It also makes it difficult to come off. And it also tends to rust your table. So what I like to use is good old rare earth magnets. They're one of my favorite things to use here in the shop. As you can see, I even keep my pencils attached to the saw with a little bit of electrical tape and a uh, rare earth magnet or even some heat shrink tube. And what we'll do is we know that each corner is going to be, it's already on the table. So I'm going to show you what I do. And I'm just going to use a simple little uh, Forstner bit, half inch, and we'll show you how I drill those corners. All right, now it doesn't matter where you drill, but you generally want to kind of hit your corners. I've got a little piece underneath here. I want to drill those corners and then all we have to do is super glue that magnet right into place. I'll go ahead and do all four. The reason we want something underneath of it is so it doesn't blow the back of it out. Now the easy way to do this is to flip the piece over, 
take a little bit of painter's tape. Just put you a little piece of tape on the back side. Just so your glue doesn't just run all the way out before you can hit it with your accelerant. And I'll just put a little magnet in each one of those holes. Uh, type on makes all different types of gels. They make uh, thin, thick, medium. I, I prefer the medium. Uh, thin will just kind of run everywhere. Uh, thick won't kind of get into the cracks that I really want. So we'll just use a little bit of medium in here. Glue those into place. And make sure that when you glue those that you push down on the magnet so that it goes all the way to the bottom. That way the magnet is actually touching the table. Now I'm going to use a little bit of their uh, activator here. Um, it's basically instant bond accelerant. Um, and if you just hit it with a little bit of that stuff, within 5 to 10 seconds, it'll be dry. So then what I do is I'll pull off that tape off the back side. And I'm going to hit it with that accelerant as well on the back side, just in case any did get through. Give it about 5-10 seconds. Let that accelerant dry. And just like that, we've got something that sticks to the table. It doesn't move around because the magnets do hold it into place. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you use it. Thanks for watching.